In this video, I'll demonstrate how to manipulate and convert both types of text, artistic and paragraph. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. I have this document open, which contains both types of text. I can use the Objects Inspector to tell what kind of text I have, and I can also use the status bar for this, so I'll choose View, Show Status Bar. This is artistic text, and this is paragraph text. I can also identify paragraph text by the dashed line frame around it, as well as the various handles all around for resizing. When artistic text is selected with the Shape tool, I have a small white character node below each character. I can use this node to manipulate each character separately. For example, I can drag nodes to move letters out of place. Or, when a node is selected, I can use the horizontal or vertical offset fields in the property bar, or I can adjust the angle. I can also assign colors to individual characters, or change the font or size. I can make changes to multiple characters by marquee selecting their character nodes. Or I can shift select the nodes of the characters I want to change. While the Shape tool is still active, I can drag this icon to adjust the kerning, the spacing between characters. If I hold the Shift key, I can adjust the word spacing. Or I can drag this icon to adjust the spacing between lines. Through all of these changes, these three lines have remained a single artistic text object. But say I want to make changes to each line separately. With the text selected with either the Pick or Shape tools, the Object menu has an option to break apart artistic text, and the shortcut for breaking apart is Command-K. Now I have three separate lines, and can make changes to each on its own. With this text object selected, I can use Command-K again to break this line into individual characters. Now each character can be changed, similar to what I did previously with the Shape tool, and I can shear or skew letters. If I want to do some serious character editing, I can change text to curves by pressing Ctrl Q. Now I can use the Shape tool to move nodes around, or make nodes smooth, double click to add nodes, etc. If I convert an entire line of artistic text to curves, and ungroup and edit with the Shape tool, I get a huge supply of nodes I can edit. Now let's look at paragraph text. When this paragraph text object is selected, I have the same kerning and line spacing icons I showed earlier. And of course, I can resize the text frame, which can change the number of text lines. When the Shape tool is used on paragraph text, I have the same character nodes that I showed before, which I can use to make changes to individual or selected characters. Pressing Command K breaks paragraph text, which doesn't break everything into separate lines, Rather, it separates text where there are line breaks. If I press Command-K again, while a multi-line paragraph text object is selected, I'll get separate text frames for each line. Going further, I can break a line into words, and words into characters. And I can also convert paragraph text to curves, and node edit. I'll return to my document before any edits were made, and show how one type of text can be converted to the other. For the paragraph text, I can right-click on it and convert to artistic text. I have the same editing options, and the text is no longer bounded by a text frame. Similarly, I can convert the artistic text to paragraph. A rectangular text frame is added, which I can resize to change the lines. For my last example, I'm importing a PDF and keeping text as text. I have everything ungrouped, and I can see that each line was imported as artistic text, one text object for each line. But if I want to be able to edit this text and keep paragraphs together, I can do the following steps. First, I'll select the lines I want to keep together, starting at the top and selecting in order. Then I'll right-click and choose Combine. This piles all of the lines on top of each other, but I can now convert to paragraph text and adjust the line spacing. Now if I edit this text, the lines will stay within their text frame. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on manipulating and converting text in CorelDRAW. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, 
You'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.